Good day, my name is Jörg Plasson. I'm from the Mind Action Series textbooks, one of the co-authors, and maybe you attended one of my workshops on probability. I want to discuss with you a problem on the grade 12 probability, the counting principle. These problems are not always that easy. So let's look at this particular problem. This problem says that we need to consider the letters of the word Merafong. Now, there, as you will see, there are eight different letters in this word Merafong. The question is, how many unique word arrangements can be made using all these letters? You will notice that the letters can't repeat. We're only going to use these letters. And there's only one of them, one of each, so we only will use them once. So to look at the solution of this, I always suggest that you draw little lines. I call it a picture of this problem. And the lines I'm going to draw for you represents the positions. So there are eight letters, so we're going to draw eight little lines to represent the eight positions of the word marathon. So let's look at this solution. I'm going to use now my pen to draw eight lines to represent the eight positions. Six, seven, eight. Eight letters in the word, and we want to know how many ways we can arrange them. So in the for the first position, we have eight possibilities. So we're going to say, Eight possibilities for position one. Please remember, one of them must be there. There are eight ways to do it, but we need to place one of them there. So in the second position, we will only have seven letters remaining. So in the third, it will be six. Then five, four, three, two, one. So you will see the eight positions will be 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, because the letters can't repeat. Now, to calculate how many ways we can do these arrangements, we need to multiply all of them. Now, you can do this on your calculator, or you can use the notation of factorial. Now, 8 down to 1, no one missing, we call 8 factorial. Now, you need to write down the final answer. So to get this answer of 8 factorial, which is quite a big number, we will use our calculator. So let's use our calculator to calculate 8 factorial. So on your calculator, we're going to push 8. You will notice the function n factorial in yellow on your calculator. So we're going to push shift and then n factorial. So now you can see the factorial sign on your calculator. And now just equal and your answer 40,320. So that is the answer for 8 factorial. So if we go back to our problem, our answer now is 40,320. Now, that is the number of ways we can arrange these eight letters without any repetition and without any restriction. So that is the total number of ways with no restrictions. In the second part of our question, they're going to ask us for a restriction on this. So let's look what this question says. It is the same word, the same eight letters. They now ask us to find the probability. Calculate the probability that the word arrangement will start with a letter R and end with a letter N. Now, to calculate this, we need to calculate the number of ways first before we can find the probability. Still remember probability. We need to know how many in the sample space divide by how many, uh, or rather, how many arrangements divide by how many in the sample space. So let's first of all work out how many arrangements there will be if the words start with an R and with a letter N. 
So, I'm going to draw my eight lines again. And now we do the restrictions first. First position, this first position, must be a letter R. The last position must be the letter N. And you always do the restrictions first. So we use the R already. How many ways? Only one. We're going to use the N in the last position. Only one way we can do it, because there is only one letter N. Now, of course, you will agree that there are six letters left. Now, from the second position up to the seventh position, there are no restrictions. So we will say six for position two, any one of the six remaining letters. Then it's five, four, three, two, and one. Counting principles say once we know how many ways we can do every position, how many arrangements means we're going to multiply these numbers. Now, when we multiply them, you will agree that the first and the last will not have an impact because it's multiplying by one. So if you look at those, then you will see we, our answer if we multiply is six factorial. Now, the same way what, like we did before on eight factorial, to work it out on your calculator, you can do it again, and you will find your answer is 720. So 720 ways that we can arrange these letters with R as the letter in the first position and N the letter in the last or eighth position. Now we still need to find the probability. We just calculated now the number of ways or the number of arrangements. So if we find the probability now, we, you will remember our formula for probability says the probability for any event is the n of this event divided by the n of s. Now, how many ways, how many arrangements in this particular event? And that was 720. I'm going to use 6 factorial. How many in the sample space? And that was our first part of the question where there was no restrictions. And that was 8 factorial. Now, this you can calculate again on your calculator. Or, if you want to do it mentally, it's also very easy. You, can, you keep the 6 factorial. The 8 factorial, you write down as 8 times 7 times the 6 factorial. They will cancel. And you will notice it's 1 over and 7 times 8, 56. And the answer to this question of what is the probability that R will be in the first position and in the last position is 1 over 56. If you want to write the answer as a decimal, it's also acceptable. In the third part of, of this question, they give us a different restriction. Now, in this one, they give us what we refer to as a grouping. Let's read this question. Calculate the probability that the vowels, and there are three vowels in this particular word, A, E, and O. So, A, E, and O. The three vowels will be placed next to each other in any of the word arrangements. So, what you need to understand in this question is, is that we have a grouping here. The three vowels must be grouped together. No one of the other letters may be between them. So if I draw the eight lines again, two, three, six, seven, eight, then three of them, and th these three can be anywhere, it doesn't mean they will be first. They can be anywhere as long as they are together. So these three will be the A, E, and O. Now, we can change their order as well. So we do this restriction first. How many ways can we arrange these three letters that must be together? Please remember, the restrictions always first. So if I arrange A, E, and O in the first position, we can do it three ways. 
because any one of the three can be first. We need to place one of them, so that means two and one. So to arrange those three will be three factorial. And that is only to arrange the three vowels. Now, once we've done that, we now want to arrange this group, this group of three letters, together with the remaining five letters. And I hope you agree with me, that will be six factorial. Now, to explain this to you, if you look at my fingers, these three letters represent the vowels. So if I arrange the vowels, it will be three factorial. Then they will count as one. Now I have five more letters. And five plus the one is six. And if I want to arrange the six, it will be six, five, four, three, two, one, because they can't repeat. And that is where I get the six factorial from. So it's three factorial times six factorial. Now again, you calculate this on your calculator, but remember the question was to calculate the probability. So let's look now at the probability that this will happen, that the vowels will be together. And that is now, we write down our event, which is now three factorial times six factorial, divided by our sample space of eight factorial, remember from the first part of the question. Now again, you can use just your calculator and write down the answer, or for fun, three factorial is six, times the 6 factorial, the 8 factorial we write as 8 times 7 times 6 factorial, they will cancel, and our answer then 6 over 56, and you can simplify this fraction as 3 over 28, or as a decimal number. Thank you.